Welcome back to my channel Glitter Babes. Today I'll be creating a side table using foam balls. First I'll be locating the center of each ball and marking it. I then decided to put the foam ball on top of a tape roll because it was easier to puncture a hole through it. And I did the other two balls the same way. Next, I'll be taking this crushed mirror that I had left over from another project and I'll be taking my glue gun and gluing the pieces around the foam ball. And I am leaving some extra space around the um, holes that I did make because I will be putting um, a dowel in between. This part was pretty easy. I was just trying to put as many um, pieces on the foam as I could. And I first started off by putting a little glue here and there on the foam ball. But as I continued on, I found it faster to smear a bunch of glue and just put many pieces on at a time. And as you can see, I am still leaving room for the dowel that I'm gonna put in later. So this is how the ball looked when I was finished. And now I'm going to take my drill and drill more um, of a hole in the middle. And y'all know I be doing crazy stuff because why don't I have any gloves on? But I'll tell you the truth, I didn't even cut myself at all during this project. I think I just know how to handle mirror at this point. But I'm now turning the ball around to the other side and I'll be drilling a hole in that side also. Next, I am taking this dowel that I got from Home Depot and I'm going to insert it in the hole. break off that extra piece there and there you have it I completed my first ball now I'm gonna add the next two they look so pretty already I low-key wish I made the table white but I just wanted it to be different this time I've already done the white before but now I'll be attaching the other two And I will be cutting off some of the dowel and leaving six inches of extra room. And after I cut that piece off, I push the balls back to the top. Next, I'll be using this charcoal grout that I got from Home Depot and I'm gonna plaster it on top. This part was actually really fun to do. And the goal is to cover the entire foam ball with the grout and to make sure that I don't see any white spots.
I will also be using the sponge to smear the grout around and to also wipe the grout from the mirrors at the same time. Next, I'm moving on to the second ball and I'm doing the same thing and I will be trying to smear um, in between the balls and make sure that they're smooth. the last one and we're almost finished now that all three are done I'm going to let it dry for about 12 hours and now I'm taking my sponge and cleaning the mirrors and this part yeah it wasn't hard I'm just impatient but I found it easier to wipe the grout off when I scrubbed in circular motion. And I went back and forth from all three just to make sure that they were all clean. Next, I'll be using this box that I got from Home Depot as the base of my table. And I'll be using this leftover grout from my last project. And I'll be adding it in the box and also adding the leg of my table inside of it. And I'm gonna be leaning this against the wall up straight until it dries. I got this pan from my local dollar store and I'm gonna be gluing the wooden box on top of it. And the grout that I poured in the box has dried. Next, I'll be taking this circle tabletop that I got from the Home Depot and spray painting it black. And I pre-drilled a hole in the top and in the dowel. and I'll be taking my screw and screwing it in. Next, I'll be taking more grout and I'll be filling in the hole. I then added another coat of paint to the top of the table. And then added these gems to the bottom of the table.
I also added more gems to the top. And then I added more gems to the bottom of the table. And I will be touching the table up one more time after I add the gems. And this is how the table turned out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you think about this table in the comments. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell for more updates. Stay blessed and see you later, Glitter Babes.